So today I'm going to show you how to make buttons on your um, PowerPoint now instead of Google Slides. So what you're going to do, you can see I already have some buttons here that I've made for Canvas. So I'm going to go and I'm going to restart the whole process and show you how to do that. So first I'm going to insert a new slide. I want it to be blank. Now you want to change the slide. Um, if you want your button to be uniform, you want to make it into a square shape. So the way you do that on a PC is you go to slide size, just type that in custom size and I just do five and five and that seems to work for me. So I do that and then now you can put whatever shape you want your button to be. I want it to be a circle. So I'm just going to open up my circle and then I'm going to make sure and try to fill my circle as much as I can within this space so, so there's not a lot of white background. So that way the white will take up less space in canvas as well. All right, so I have my shape there. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my outline. Just cause I like a thick outline, I think it really gets people's attention. So you're gonna go to weight, and then I like to do six. And I just have a solid line. And then I'm gonna change my color. I'm just gonna pick black. So now I have my outline done, and now I can do my shape fill or the inside of my button. So you can go up to the top, and you could do a color, if you wanted to do a color. If you wanna do, um, different colors you just go right here and it'll show you different color grids but i'm actually going to insert a picture to make it look like the chalkboard like my other button so i'm going to go to picture i already have it saved on my computer so go chalkboard insert it's going to insert it so now i have the basic basically the framework of my button done so say for example i wanted to um change this or not changes. I wanted to copy this. I would just copy this button and I can go to insert new slides blank and there it is. It's copied for another button. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a text box to actually type in whatever I want my button to say. So let's just say that this week we're doing a Teams meeting. So I'm just going to write Teams. I'm just going to type Teams meeting call. Whatever you want it to say. It's perfectly fine. I like to do it centered. So I'm going to center it. And then you're just going to pick whatever font you want. I like using PowerPoint because now you have all these different font options that you don't have in Google Slides. So I think that's great. So now I'm going to change my font to be white to match the other ones. And my button is complete. And I'll probably just make that a little bit bigger. And so, oh, there we go. So now my button is done. And say you want to um, save your button and upload it into Canvas. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to File. Now that your button's done, Save As. I'm going to save it here. This is my practice. I'm going to say meeting call. And then you're going to save it. Down here, you're going to change it to a PDF because, you, um, not a PDF, I'm sorry, a PNG. You want it to be a picture file. So you're going to save it as a picture file. So I'm just saving just this slide. So just the slide that's highlighted is the one I'm saving. So I'm going to pick just this one. So I'm saving it. And now I'm going to upload it into my canvas. So this is just on my practice page. So I'm going to go to edit. And then I'm going to go down here. Oh. And then I'm going to insert an image. Upload a new image. Choose file. Open. And if you want it. If you want the alternative text to be able to help those who maybe can't read it or have difficulty reading, you could label it so it could help those um, individuals. So I'm going to say meeting button. And then you click upload. And it's going to upload it very, very large. And then you're just going to shrink it down to fit the size of the other button. There you go. So that's how you do it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below.